driving along. Sorry guys, but the wind. I don't have any in my gear. I have any sandals. Look at this. It's a cemetery. <laughs> it's just February um, 24th, 1875, age 25 years, 5 months, 10 days. <laughs> okay, let's check out a little more. There's a ton of headstones here. Well, not a ton, but ooh, that's a big old hole. This person was 31 years. I can get to it good enough to, ugh, creepy stuff falling off this tree onto me. Let's see if I can find a name. So we have a Margaret. Life of Gavin Williams, born March 26, 1870, died July 11, 1901, aged. Thirty-one years, three months, something, and March 27, 1847, died January 15, 1902. I'm just looking around to see if there's any more in this vicinity. I know there's another one down here. Um, you never know, guys. Uh, and got some pretty carvings on the top. You know, just driving down the road. I thought at first it was just, you know, how older homes had these big, extravagant, like, what do you call them? Columns with their driveways. There is something right here. Wow, look at this. Like sunk in. That's a grave that's sunk in. A little leery about stepping here. Um, I don't see the headstone. Unless this is it. Unless that's all there is to it. I doubt it. many more headstones are here. I hope you guys can hear me okay. Um, like these are like either irises or glads. I think they're irises. So somebody had planted flowers here years and years and years ago, which is amazing. Um, which is something probably, it was like a family type. I feel like I'm sinking right there. So let's walk on down and check out this other stone that's here. 
And you'll see why I thought it was just like a marker for a, you know, for somebody's. I believe that's going to say Father Wesley something. Born March 10, 1819. Died December 12, 1890 something. Lost to S I G something. Anyways, so here's this little cemetery. What's left of it? Just kind of pushed it away. property all you have to do is type in on Google map cemeteries near me or cemeteries and type in your address or something and it will show you all the cemeteries that are listed even old ones that are like family cemeteries or something like that even if they don't look like they're there if you go and you look in these woods like this you will find the cemeteries. Um, and I I have a whole list of cemeteries I want to go to this month. This one was nowhere on my radar. Because I haven't really looked back at my list. I know it could have been on my radar. Oh, like I said, I haven't looked back at my list. I'm so sorry about the wind. It wasn't with me until I got out of the car. How stupid is it to be just driving down the road and ouch, bam, there is a cemetery. Hold on, I think I see another headstone. Or is it just brush? Might be just brush. Um... An old bottle of some sort, like not too old. Yeah, it's all just brush. But 
anyways guys there's a there's a cemetery video for you impromptu I will try to look on Google's map and find out what the name of the cemetery is and put it here in the title um thanks for watching I know this is a really short video but hey there you go right here alongside the road just a few headstones and you never know when you're going to find one thanks guys for hanging out with me again sorry about the wind and I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments below bye everybody I was able to find some information on some of the graves here and some of the family members. Frank Masters, the very first grave I went to, died February 2nd, 1875 at the age of 25 years, 5 months, and 1 day. And an application for letters of administration for the will of Frank Masters was filed on the 11th of February in 1875 in Bates County, Missouri. The application names Frank's heirs as George Masters residing in Miami, formerly Lincoln's County, Kansas, Mrs. Jared Louisa Masters residing in Miami County, Kansas, and Mike C. Masters residing in Saline County, Missouri. Inferred parent parents of Frank are Daniel F. and Mary Masters. Daniel and Mary were the parents of Samuel, Louisa, Jared is her husband, Levi, Francis, Goodman, and William, Doc, George, and Mike. The 1850-1860 U.S. Censuses probate records for Daniel's estate filed in 6 of January 1865 in Miami County, Kansas. The records do not include a son named Frank. However, the son, Doc, is of similar age and no additional records for Doc have been found. In the, in the 1870 U.S. Census, Franklin Masters, age 20, born in Kentucky, was living with Rebecca Smith family in Miami Township, Miami County, Kansas, occupation farm laborer. Frank was buried in the Park Cemetery in Bates County, Missouri, which is located to the east of Miami County, Kansas. It is noted here, the Park Cemetery is overgrown with trees and bushes. A few grain stones remain, but no stone has been located for Frank. Census records and probate records were accessed online through Ancestry.com on 21st, 24th of January 2021. But as you can see... Frank's gravestone does remain there, as that's how I found it. Now, Margaret C. Reedy Williamson, I don't believe her um, name before she was married was on the headstone. She has some different information, um, anyways, that I dug up. She was born the 26th of March in 1870, but she was born in Indiana in Morgan County. She died the 11th of July in 1901. She was 31 years old. She was buried here in Park Cemetery in Bates County. And Margaret was married to Gavin Williamson, who um, is not buried um, here. He died in Springfield, Ohio. Um, and he is buried also in the Galena, Ohio, summit, the Burnside Cemetery in Galena, Ohio. Now let's go on to this last headstone, the one that was toppled over that says Father Wesley Park, okay, which is the name of the, um, the cemetery. <clears throat> Sorry. The inscription that I could not read, I did find, it says, Though lost to sight, to memory dear. Okay, so we got that. Now, the what I did find on him is like what was in the newspaper, which the very ending of it isn't here, but I will read to you what it does say, and it's very lengthy, so bear with me. It says, Wesley Park was born in Hampshire County, Virginia, March 13th, 
1819, so I got the date wrong, which I could see in the video. I did have it wrong. And he died December 12th, 1897, at, at uh, I believe it says 2 p.m., at the age of 78 years and nine months. He was married to Miss Hyatt, H-I-G-H-E-T is, I believe, what it says, of Hampshire County, Virginia, who died in 1853, leaving two children, Miss Susan and Griff. Wesley Park never married again. His daughter and son never married, but lived with him and took care of him down to the hour of his death. When about 23 years of age, he joined the M.E. Church. Uh, he moved to the Bates County, Missouri in eight, uh, 1839, bought a farm northeast of John Woody's, which I believe is about where this um, where this area is. The war soon broke out and he had to leave his farm and go to Kansas and was there until the close of the war. Now, this area is the area um, you've heard me talk about, Ordinance 11. It's called the Burnt District. If you did not live in town, they burned everything you owned. Um, you had to move to town or you had to leave this, the area completely. So that's that's probably what he did. Um, it was there until after the close of the war. During that time, his property was destroyed. That was part of the ordinance. His mother died in Kansas and was buried east of Lysine. About 10 years ago, he sold his farm and bought one southeast of Butler. Okay, so I was mistaken on that. Um, I'm going to find my place again. Hold on. Um, the southeast of Butler, where he lived several years. He then sold his farm and rented off Mr. Wolf east of Passaic. So this is about the area of where that property would be. From there, he moved down what was known as the Wilson Farm, where he died. So this could be the Wilson Farm, or it could be where he rented. Wesley Park had many friends in the Bates County, um, in Bates County. He was of a kind disposition and loved the company of his acquaintances. He was kind-hearted and always ready to lend a helping hand to those in need. For four, four years, he was confined to his home, not being able to be outside his door or yard for several years. He was not expected to live from one month to the other. It was believed by many that under the treatment of Dr. Sun, his, wife, or his life was prolonged. His daughter and son watched over him day and night all these many years of his affliction without a murmur. Wesley Park is in the 10th is the tenth of his family to die. There is only one of the family left, Washington Park, living east of Virginia. Um, his father, which is Virginia, Missouri. His father and one sister are buried in Virginia. Three brothers in Ohio, one brother and his mother in Kansas, one brother and sister in Bates County, two sisters in North Missouri, Reverend William Steffens of Belton preached his funeral at the house. They were close friends and had been for years. It was requested to be buried beside his brother Jefferson in the Park Cemetery. Now, I did not find any other headstones near him, so... I don't know what would have happened to his brother's headstone. But as you can see, this, as long as with many, many cemeteries in this whole area of Missouri and many areas in this state, has been long, long forgotten and just left to be destroyed and left to look like this, which is very sad, very disheartening. I hate seeing this, and I know many of you also do. Um... One of my goals was to get a weed eater this summer, last summer, and just go around and clean up some of these cemeteries. But this is one that's just right by the road, shoved it down and knocked down. And obviously, there should be many more. They say there's 23 people interned in this cemetery, 23. And we only found just a handful of, of 
headstone. So that means there are many lost souls buried here in this cemetery. Where are they? We don't know. Where were they laid? We don't know. And exactly, you know, it is sad. A lot of lost souls. Thanks for coming along with me, everybody.